I'm Timothy Go, and here is this week's Tech360.tv Tech Roundup. Sci-fi fans are in for a treat this week with Netflix's latest original show, Altered Carbon, set 350 years in the future. Altered Carbon reveals a future where the human mind is saved in storage devices called stacks, while bodies are reused and named sleeves to transfer the human consciousness. Joel Kinnaman, who was last seen in Netflix's House of Cards, takes on the role of violent mercenary Takeshi Kovacs to solve the murder of the wealthiest man in the world. The show takes a few pages out of Blade Runner with its neon lights and futuristic setting. But take heed, you should watch it on a big screen, preferably a 4K TV from either Samsung or LG to appreciate the grandeur of the sci-fi series. Has Apple seen the first signs of its iPhones waning popularity or is it just a case of too many smartphones to choose from because Apple's first quarterly reports for 2018 has seen a drop in its iPhone sales, down by one and a quarter percent. The company has seen 77.3 million iPhones sold in Q1 of 2018, which is not a small number, by the way. Interestingly, though, Apple's overall revenue increased from 54.38 billion to 61.58 billion, thanks to the higher price of the iPhone X. Now, this is somewhat of an oddity, though, since Apple is rumored to be rebranding the iPhone X with its less than stellar sales in China. Apple CEO Tim Cook, however, says the new phone has surpassed the company's expectations and is the top-selling iPhone every week since November of 2017. Good news for Apple fans in Singapore, the long-awaited LTE version of the Apple Watch Series 3 is finally coming. It will be available on February 9th. The Apple Watch will be first available with Singtel, and you don't have to subscribe to a new line just to get it. Singtel has a number share service that lets you share the same number, the same talk time, and the same data plan as your iPhone. While the number share subscription price costs $6.90, it will be free for the first three months. The Apple Watch, though, isn't free. It starts at $598. Sing dollars. Now, we have phones that charge without wires, but you know what really makes sense for wireless charging? Your mouse. After all, if your mouse is wireless, the last thing you want is to have it run out of juice while you're gaming. Logitech's PowerPlay is a wireless charging mat that solves that problem. Built for the Logitech G703 and G903 mice, PowerPlay keeps your mouse constantly juiced up minus the wires. On top of that, the low latency from Logitech's Lightspeed technology means there's no lag when you're gaming with these wirelessly charged mice. While this is a bit more expensive than your usual setup, it is definitely worth all the money and trouble you'll save when you need batteries. First, it was the Switch, which redefined how you play games on the go. Then came Labo, the innovative cardboard that reinvents the way you play games. And coming soon, a subscription service in September that lets you play with more people. That's Nintendo's grand plan when the online service launches in September. This will be similar to the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live series, which lets you do online multiplayer games. The service will cost $3.99 a month or $19.99 per year. On top of that, subscribers will also get access to classic games from the company, which will come with leaderboards and multiplayer for the competitor in you. There you have it. You're up to date. You're streaming Tech360.tv.